What's up, plenty people? I have water all over my lips. <laughs> What's up, planty people? This is Sydney, and if you are new here, welcome, and if you are a subscriber, welcome back. Today, I wanna to do a really cool video, and I wanna talk about my underrated houseplants. I have a lot of houseplants that are common, but I think they're a little underrated. Like, people are not actively seeking these plants out, at least, as much as I think that they should, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna take you around my house to check out these underrated houseplants, so stick around. Okay, underrated houseplant number one, in my opinion, is gonna be the Crispy Wave Bird's Nest Fern. Look at how beautiful that is. It has a lot of dimension, and these leaves right here are very, very crispy, and they're super I think I just broke one. Like, obviously, there's a reason why it was named the Crispy Wave Fern. But anyway, so yeah, this is my number one first one. Not my number one necessarily, but definitely the first one that I saw that stuck out to me as being an underrated houseplant. So let's put that baby back over there. Okay, so we are going to move right on up here to my Calathea lancifolia. This plant is beautiful. Let me put it on the ground so I can get more close-ups of it because my camera cannot get up in the shelves like I want it to. So this plant is really underrated in my opinion. Like I don't see it mentioned often on Instagram or on other people's YouTube channels, but check out that color on the back of the leaves. And I also love the way that the leaves are shaped and the variegation. I have mentioned this in one of my other videos. Let me get a good close-up on a leaf check out that variegation on this leaf right now I don't know if you can tell but the contrast from the outside is like this dark green rim and on the inside of it between these dark circles of variegation are that light green and that to me is to die for this is a really seriously beautiful plant and it was on my wish list for a very long time but i could never find a really good one so i finally found one at pike nursery check out that color it really does amaze me plants amaze me so anyway and look how cool there are so many new little cute leaves coming out this plant is definitely on my list as an underrated plant. So if you can get your hands on one of these, I'm telling you they are not as finicky as the typical Calathea finickiness or however you want to say it. I promise you basically what I'm trying to say is they are not that difficult to care for. Very easy. I think the humidity that I have it in is 55 to 65. So it really does vary, but this plant is super easy going. Just water it when it starts going a little bit dry and then you are good to go. So let me put this baby back up here and we will move on to our next underrated house plant. Let me close this. Okay, so we have moved right here to my Anthurium adriasum, Andrianum, something along those lines. But I wanted to show you the color on these new leaves. Look at that golden, brassy, like, don't even know how to describe this color but check it out, it is really, really beautiful. And look how huge these leaves are. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, it, I mean, it covers my whole hand and more. You can like see the shadow of my thumb right here. So the reason I think these are underrated is because they are in every single big box store and nobody really talks about them in their videos that I see, um, which is a shame because it really is a beautiful plant. Okay, so as far as the blooms, sometimes I cut them off and sometimes I do not. I actually really like, this is the biggest bloom that I have had on this plant. Now, these plants are very different because they have like modified leaves around their flower and it's just to draw attention so that, you know, obviously there's a greater chance of being pollinated. Now, Really though, I usually cut them off because I like to see my plants grow and the blooms typically take a lot of energy from the plant, but I had to leave this one on here. Check this out. Let's get a close up here. Wow. I mean, it's super shiny and that is the brightest red that I've ever seen on any of my plants. Seriously, and a very underrated plant. So if you can get your hands on one, you will hear me say this throughout the video. But if you can get your hands on one, I would highly recommend it. 
All right, this is my Tradescantia zebrina. Now, the reason I think this is an underrated plant is because not only is it very common, but it's also really affordable, and it's not really talked about within the houseplant community too much. I think it's more commonly known as the wandering dude, and if you can see this, like, check out those little speckles on the stems. I think that's so cute. Another one of my favorite things about this plant is that it has that silver variegation, and if you know anything about me, you also know that I love plants with different colored undersides to the leaves. I don't know why, it's just something I really prefer in a plant. Now, check out just how beautiful. Let's just admire that. Look at the shine on this plant. If you can get your hands on one of these, I would really recommend it. Again, of course, like all of the plants in this video. The one thing I will say about this plant, it is a high light plant. Like, I would not recommend this plant for a low light situation. It does like a lot of light. So let me just move it back over here and show you exactly where I have it placed. Obviously my window is closed, but I do have it placed in this window, which gets like morning sun and afternoon sun. So I would not recommend this plant for any situation that is gonna be low light, or if you don't have any space for like a high light plant, then I wouldn't recommend that. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, I always have to be really careful that I don't... No, we're... Hold on. <laughs> Ooh, I am not knocking over these beautiful babies because I love them so much. Okay, we're going to take that down, take that down, and we're going to talk about this beauty. Let's see if the lighting over here is okay. I think that looks okay. This plant... <laughs> my fuzzy sock join the party fuzzy sock now i also think that fuzzy socks are underrated i would highly recommend them if you want to have a good day put on your fuzzy socks all right so right here this is the philodendron brazil we have all seen this plant but i don't think it is nearly mentioned as much as it should be the variegation on this plant is not only beautiful but it is very oh i just hit my camera the variegation on this plant is not only beautiful, but it is very fun. So the reason why I say that, okay, I want you to look at this leaf and then let's just move it. Let's just move it around here. Look at this leaf, completely different focus. People wanna see the leaf, man, come on. So look at the dimension within this leaf, okay? So we have like this beautiful light green. We have like a little bit darker green and then we have dark green so cool and then also my favorite thing too is that some of the leaves come out like a full lime green right here look how cool that is like the top of it is just this little green i think it's so cute this is one of the leaves that has come out fully with no variegation if that makes any sense at all okay i did not plan on including this plant but while i was over here putting that brazil back did I even tell y'all the name of that plant? That is the Philodendron Brazil. So I thought about it and I saw this little plant. This is my silver squill. Now this plant in my opinion is super underrated. You can find it at big box stores, at least in my area, but check out the blooms on this thing. How cute. Aww. So check out how cool that is. I love those bulbs. I think it's really cool. Okay, now let me get up close on the leaves because that really is my favorite part about this plant. So can you see those leaves? I think that is super cool. I am in love with these little green specks on these silver leaves and also you know your girl loves it. Check out those undersides to the leaves. Yes, it's a different color. It's like a purpley color. It's so beautiful, but look at that. These are so cute. That is my silver squill. Super easy to care for. I just water it when the bulbs get a little wrinkly. And we are in my room now. So this is the last underrated houseplant, and I do want to talk to you all about some changes going on with my YouTube channel at the end of this video, so stick around. I think it's really important to keep you guys updated on what I plan on doing with my YouTube channel and things like that, so... I'm gonna do that for you and just stay honest and real and let you know why some changes are happening and what changes are happening and things like that. I don't know how well you can see this plant back here. Let me pull her out for you. Okay. 
there's a whole bunch of dirt on the floor that I spilt yesterday. I need to clean it up. Okay, this is my Aglionema Silver Bay. Now, this plant is definitely underrated. Now, in my area, this plant is easily accessible. It's very easy to find and super cheap. I want to say about $14. So, this plant is beautiful and it gets very large. Like, these leaves do get very large. I wish I could show you some footage of my stepmoms because hers is huge. This plant is really gorgeous to me, in my opinion, and it's an easy grower low light any environment that i have put it in it has thrived in so okay so aglionema silver bay if you can get your hands on this plant do it gorgeous oop uh -huh, almost spilled it almost spilled some more dirt let me put her back and whoa whoa this is just my zz raven and it is definitely not underrated i think that everyone does love this plant so anyway, okay, we'll move on. Okay, so as far as changes happening with my YouTube channel, I have really been enjoying doing YouTube videos for you all and interacting with the houseplant community. So the video camera that I did have did not have good autofocus, so I decided to buy a Canon EOS M50, and this camera is amazing. So I'm able to like actually film the videos and be excited about it. I was always excited after I filmed the videos because I was able to interact with you all, but I wanted it to be more of an enjoy enjoyable enjoyable experience to film for you all so i bought this camera and it is amazing i'm really excited to put out good content and good videos for you all also another thing is is i wanted to find a way to make my youtube channel very different from other houseplant youtubers and i want to do more of a different style as far as my editing and my filming and i really want to put in a lot of work so these videos typically take me about eight hours to do and fully finish and have it processed into youtube before it gets out to you all so i am spending a lot of time on these youtube videos so i want to put my best work out there and be able to provide you all with entertainment and like videos that you want to actually watch so those are the changes happening with my youtube channel okay so if you made it to the end of this video please comment below with what houseplant you think is underrated and also if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel down here somewhere there is a subscribe button if you click that it really helps my channel out it helps me grow so if you like my content and you want to support my channel those are two ways you can definitely do that okay everyone thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video which is houseplant tour number two so stay tuned for that bye all right everyone Whoa, focus make sure i am like in focus. focus okay what's up planty people this is sydney if you are new here welcome and if you what's up planty people if you are new here welcome if you are a subscribe <laughs> What's up, planty people? This is Sydney. Ew. Oh, my hair is a mess. <laughs> okay, so we are currently in my room, and I want to go over one last underrated houseplant in my room. In my room? In my room. Eh, we're in my room. Duh.